wallet. First is half hour, women in the workplace. An effort is underway at area hospitals to make leadership more representative of the people they serve. As a BPTV News Channel 5's Tori Dunn and reports, it comes from personal experience. Agonet Parks. Definitely see the change shift happening here immediately. And Maria Morales Menendez. In society, I think we're moving towards more acceptability of women in the workforce, women in leadership, women of color. Are both young women newly promoted to healthcare leadership positions? I'm 29. 25. Agonette is the associate administrator of Delray Medical Center. I've seen a, a huge change in acceptance and not just age or race or sex, but more so about your skill set and what you're able to offer. Maria is the chief operating officer at the hospital. While I was in my MBA program, I had expectations of what it would be like to be a woman of color, a woman walking into business and healthcare in general as a leader. The Palm Beach Health Network CEO, Maggie Gill, calls these efforts intentional. You know, I've seen that uh, leadership doesn't always represent the community that it serves in terms of what it looks like. A McKinsey study on women in the workplace shows overall in 2021, just 30 percent of so-called C-suite members are female for the healthcare industry. I remember, you know, when I was 28 years old and I was uh, for my first time CFO job, you know, I was the only person who looked like me in the room. Making it her mission to expand diversity and leadership, Gil takes pride in the fact close to 70% of top executives in Palm Beach Health Network are female in her group. It's a big difference. The hospital group includes Delray Medical Center, Good Samaritan, Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center, St. Mary's, and West Boca. When it comes to CEO positions, including herself, four out of five are women. What did it look like here like five, ten years ago? It looked a lot different. Yeah, I would say the, the, uh, the numbers were probably closer to what the national average was. So mm -hmm. this is something you're really passionate about? It is. Uh, I, I'm very passionate about it. Again, I think some of that comes from personal experience, you know, experiencing bias in my own career. She calls it reaching in. To find those people who have potential, who may not, again, look like your um, typical executive and helping them develop at an individual level. Why do you think it's important in a hospital setting to have uh, female leadership? I thought, wow, we're an industry of primarily women workers in hospitals, and there seems to be a gap here in terms of how we're represented in leadership. A so-called map may be in the works. I grew up without having really a blueprint. Um, I think often with men in leadership, you have a lot of representation in the community. You know that I can aspire to be like X, Y, or Z. Um, for me, it was difficult to find someone to idolize or to work towards. We serve a diverse population, so I think it's important that your leadership is reflective of that. But Gil says that as an industry, obviously, there's work to do. The journey's never over. Tori Dunnan, WPTV News Channel 5.